heavy police uh, presence on the 2400 block of 26th Avenue in Oakland. That's where shots rang out this morning in a residential neighborhood. Cron 4's Will Tran live from the scene now to explain what police found when they got there. Will? Well, they found two people, a man and a woman, possibly target practicing. And you can see those police officers are still here. It happened between that salmon color house and that beige color home. There was an alley down there right between. When they got here after their shot spotter system heard seven or eight shots, they assumed they were shooting at people. But when they got here, they found these two people possibly target practicing either at cans or bottles. Unfortunately, one of their bullets actually went through a home. That greenhouse right there. We spoke to the woman live on Cron 4, only on 4, 15 minutes ago. That bullet went through the home into the bathroom. They were getting ready to use the bathroom at the time. One woman was getting ready to use the bathroom when all of a sudden she notices that her toilet seat was broken because the bullet shattered it. Now here's the woman talking about it only on 4. And I said, how dare they're going to say that this was target practice? This was not, this was not, this is not the lifestyle we live. It's not, I, and I, I mean, I'm, I'm out there. I'm against this. I do homicides, crisis responded. I reach out to all these victims. And here I'm a victim and I, I'm like in shock myself. And it's really reached home now. And James, you could see how emotional she got because look at that. She was just within seconds of using the toilet and you can see the lid to the toilet cracked. They actually found the bullet right next to the toilet and then, then there was a hole as well. As far as these two people, they don't have a motive as to why they did this. Fortunately, they didn't hit anybody at a time when they easily could have hit not only that woman, but also young children. At 7.30 in the morning, there were many parents getting up, going to work. And many of those parents, if they were not at work yet, they were walking their kids to school. Back to you, James. All right, a scary scene, but like you said, thankfully, no innocent bystanders were hurt. Sorry.